Welcome back to Walsall Man TV for the preview of Walsall at home to crew. If the game is on, that is the question. Um, the forecast says we're going to get up to four degrees on Saturday afternoon. So uh, if Walsall get the covers on and um, keep it nice and cosy, we'll uh, hopefully have the game on. Walsall need it on um, in great form at the moment. And crew, even though they've uh, picked up recently... Um, are there for the taking, I think. And uh, we also want to get as many games in as possible while we've still got uh, DJ. Um, his future is still undecided. Um, we've got a live stream chat tonight with uh, Lee, Daz and uh, a couple of others, perhaps. So uh, if you're interested in joining that chat tonight, uh, just drop me an email. Uh, here's the link. And uh, you can uh, join the chat if you like. Right then, um, key other key information before we get on to team news and that sort of stuff. Um, FA Cup, as we know, um, drawn away to Stockport after they uh, triumphed over Charlton. Um, news for them, Phil Bardsley, who's a um, former Sunderland, Stoke and Burnley player who was released end of last season. Only after only yeah, playing 10, 10, 11 games in the, the, like the previous two seasons. So he's not had much game time, but he's been training with Stockport for six months and uh, they've given him a contract. But he has said that he's uh, going to play for free and donate all his money to uh, the Stockport Community Trust. So that's uh, really good of him. Will he make a big difference to Stockport? I don't think so, really. I think the good experience in and around the dressing room has obviously been there for a while with him uh, training with them, I would think. So uh, nothing uh, particularly special there. Um, if the game is on on Saturday, it's the Christmas Toy Appeal, the Warsaw Football Supporters Trust uh, putting that on. So if you have any unwrapped new toys or uh, still wrapped new toys, um, sort of bring those along on Saturday. Um, they're also collecting uh, unperishable food for the uh, Thomas Project Food Bank. So uh, you could also bring that along as well. I'm not sure what happens if the match is um, postponed, whether that will get canned or not. I don't really know. Um, there's also planned a bit of a carol service before the game just to get everybody in the festive spirit. But there's nothing that will boost festive spirits more than uh, three points. So that's what uh, that's what we're all um, after. Um, so what do we know about Crew? Um, quite local rivals, really. Seventeenth in the league, one two drawn, one lost two in the last five. Twenty five points, so that's five points behind Warsaw. Are in eleventh with four wins and a draw in the last five. And um, their caretaker manager Lee Ball who's been with the crew for a long time, player and coach, been there for 20 years plus. Um, he's now uh, the manager. Uh, previous manager Alex Morris has uh, stepped back to the coaching team. So that's a strange one. Uh, they normally get fired, but um, he's just stepping back a little bit. So uh, that's an interesting one. Last time out, they lost 2-1 at home to Newport. So that wasn't a great result. But... They, uh, they had previously been knocked out by Barnsley in the FA Cup. But before that, a very good away win. 1-0 away to Swindon. So, um, definitely, uh, there's definitely a risk there. So, we'll have to be on it. Um, player that Warsaw were interested in, Connor Baker-Richardson, who went to crew. He's got seven goals to his name so far this season. So, he's doing well. And uh, Daniel Agai has got six with two assists as well. So, um, huh. right then, as far as Walsall are concerned, I would expect the team to be as is. So that would be Owen Evans in goal, Hayden White, Donovan Daniels and uh, Manny Month with um, wing-backs Bennett and Gordon with, with Kinsella, Earing and Hutch. In the midfield. And then up front. Danny Johnson. We still want to keep him. Um, and Tommy Knowles. But we might even see. Um, Connor Wilkinson. Um, making an appearance. 
but with the ground this hard, maybe uh, it might be just um, protecting him a little bit. Uh, Mike Flynn has said that he wants to protect him and not sort of throw him straight back in. So you can understand that. Uh, Douglas James Taylor, he'll be uh, on the bench looking for more minutes as well. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Right then, so my prediction, if the game goes ahead, I can see a comfortable 2 nil Walsall. So uh, let's hope so. Um, as I say, if you want to join the live stream tonight, just follow the, uh, just drop me an email. And uh, the only password you need is um, an answer to a quick question. What was my YouTube channel's name before Walsall Fan TV? And uh, finally, and finally, um, I'm putting together the quiz, which we're going to do around about 23rd of December. So uh, you look forward to that and joining that. We're going to do a Kahoot quiz. Uh, that'll be a family quiz. So that'll be Warsaw and general stuff as well. Um, so it'll be good to see how many we get on that. Uh, just let me know in advance if you're planning to join us so we can sort of uh, assess numbers. And uh, we might even have a prize about that. Okay, Walsh Fan TV, thanks for watching the Join the Pain. Keep warm, everybody. See you on Saturday, hopefully. <laughs>